It is great to have you back here at CoinSurrey's channel. A lot of ground will be covered in this video. So far, this is all the footage I have from that previous session. Global financial markets will replace DBS Bank as an entity as of March 1, 2024, following a major reorganization. The crypto asset exchange, treasury, and trading division of Ripple will form a new business. Asset tokenization is being worked on by DBS, one of Singapore's largest banks, as part of Project Guardian. As a result, they will likely work with Medico on the custody matter as well. Neom is a Ripple payments partner, and the Indian government has given them two licenses for payment aggregators and prepaid payment instruments. To me, those look like prepaid cards for the Indian rupee. In certain corridors, NIM uses the gained license and what was ODL to their benefit. To enable them to obtain a license. Their goal is to facilitate easier online shopping for consumers by creating a platform that companies can use to integrate cutting-edge technology into their websites and streamline fund flow procedures. One great thing is that they are using Odsal and XRP. Also, this might end up being helpful down the road. In this very second. Value will be disclosed at a later date, this is merely an announcement. Ripple and XRP's rising value has been a constant theme in all of my videos. Someone will then bring up the fact that the price is going up or down right after that. That value will come later, this is just an announcement at the moment. Here are the key points of the 2024 Global Protocol Report. Ripple is one of the most well-known protocols in the world. You may be aware that Ripple's technology has been consistently recognized with accolades. And it's great. We have shown our unwavering support for that technology with our investment in XRP. As stated by U.S. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell, we are also investing heavily in creating a new settlement system that will allow for instant payments in the U.S., as you might be aware. It is not since the 1970s that our principal payment system's pension has undergone such a massive expansion. We believe this is a compelling case since it will ensure that consumers, businesses, and universal financial institutions have access to the capital. I reasoned that this. Strangely enough, that happened with Fed, and now some are saying that he mentions XRP without actually saying it. This, in particular, comes to mind when I think about talking about instant payments within the United States. Jerome Powell has probably been quietly helping Ripple for a while, even before the SEC took action against Ripple. My bet is that RippleNet and XRP will be the showstoppers when it launches in the US. Furthermore, in the event of a liquidity crisis, XRP will be their preferred method of payment. Regarding that demand-side liquidity, people with vision can see that XRP is bringing a new monetary system, all this worry is for naught. It will be witnessed by those who have faith in XRP. The XRP ledger ecosystem, which is designed like a ripple and is rewarded to developers. A crystal ball was formerly required to predict the future of XRP. To you, it is immediately apparent. Observe the current events unfolding across the world. You do realize that this is America. Their reckless spending has driven up the national debt to $34 trillion and driven the value of the US dollar to an all-time low. To your mind, what are the most compelling points of their proposed new monetary system? The reset catches everyone off guard, nobody anticipates it. Most people, you know, just aren't aware of their immediate environment. But you, the crypto investor, have access to this data. This is just enormous. Approximately 30% of China's stock market value was frozen today. These are only some of the many far-reaching effects that will result from the Evergrande liquidation. Let me tell you this right now, it is possible that Evergrande will be the first domino to collapse, which might affect Bitcoin as well. Finally, the truth is settling. How many times have we discreetly brought up this topic? Ethereum and Bitcoin are supposedly bought by Tether, which then aims to stabilize the US bond market and provide the impression of perceived worth. The increasing market share of USDT Tether, compared to stable currencies is one concern that JP Morgan Chase has for the cryptocurrency industry. To me, this mapping is the starting point. 
Perhaps the information that led to the evaluations of the potential impact on the market and the cautionary tales surrounding Evergrande's ties to Tether and Bitcoin's dependence on USDT concern their cryptocurrency ambitions. Evergrande has now gone into default, as can be seen on this map. Ethereum, Tether, and ERC-20s are the default cryptocurrencies. Since I always predicted that Tether would fail, I'm relieved that I put my money into XRP. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum will be part of it when the time comes. There will be a catastrophic collapse in the commercial real estate sector, and Evergrande is just the beginning. It will also cause a precipitous fall in the property market. In my opinion, all these bubbles are about to burst. A number of additional factors of which you probably aren't aware. My pals, this set off a raging debate on X. Illegal immigrants have access to a wide range of services in the US, including loans, mortgages, insurance, driver's licenses, free healthcare, and state college tuition in New York and CA, among others. Having citizenship is pointless if an unlawful individual may take advantage of all the benefits without paying their fair share to the government. Alternatively, be a juror, I found it amusing that he included the part about how no one loves serving on a jury. But that is exactly how things are right now in our country. This is the end outcome. As tax day approaches, here is a friendly reminder to stop paying taxes. If we band together, we can evade their pursuit. Many people have already stated their desire to pay their taxes this year and the subject of whether or not individuals will pay their taxes this year arises in surveys nearly daily. They take advantage of us with their taxes on US dollars, even though we work hard in the office. It's really bothering them. Then, at the end of the year, business owners might claim a higher tax rate on their earnings. The fact that you'll owe taxes on the spending is an additional consideration. The money is being distributed now. Additionally, a considerable amount of the money is being transferred to other entities. Leaving aside the several wars that are now raging, their constant conflict planning whenever the US dollar is in jeopardy leads me to conclude that they are aware of the currency's decline. Battles erupted at some point in the past. This has occurred in prior digital asset runs. That system is known as free market economics. It happened when US Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warned about the risks of Bitcoin, as you may remember. She informed Congress that the cryptocurrency industry posed a number of hazards to the financial system including the potential for unstable currencies, platform runs, and unexpected pricing. Crypto risks have been a major focus of the Financial Stability Oversight Councils, a group of us heads of financial agencies led by the Secretary, recent work, and they rank high among the categories of possible concern. The United States' $34 trillion debt is Janet Yellen's first priority, as stated in a condensed version of her statement released on Monday. Then, she should cease dispersing funds around the globe. Yellen will be testifying Tuesday before the House Financial Services Committee to provide an update on this matter. People in our nation go through hardship on a daily basis. Most people work two or even three jobs. Then there's tax season, when we see the annual waste of our hard-earned money, need I say more? Plus, they may easily accuse crypto of being the culprit. Plus, you've been following my every move. Prior to its implementation, the current financial system must collapse. There may be obstacles on the road to the new system, and the shift itself may be challenging. The purpose isn't to sow fear, actually. Being more careful and organized is crucial. Whenever people talk about the end of the world, the topic inevitably comes up in relation to the wealthy. I am preparing you for what is ahead by doing this. Do you think it would be more appealing if I said the US economy is doing great? Everyone knows that inflation is going down, but right now the prices of food, gas, and other retail goods are going through the roof. This is just a warning regarding the upcoming events. And it's easy to understand why, CBDCs are popping up all over the world right now. Soon, most of these countries will have internet access. In the coming months, a number of countries will establish a CBDC. I am still of the belief that they will swiftly execute the identical agenda in the US, regardless of when the next election is. It is a brilliant time to be an XRP investor. 
In other words, when the current financial system fails, we will all become extremely rich. Therefore, hold on to your XRP for the time being. But until then, keep a positive attitude, be patient, and let's put money in the bank together. Sure, I'll cut this video short now. It would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe to my channel and rate it. Catch you later, farewell.